for sure. So yeah, the next video, the next video, what we're going to talk about next topic is welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video today. We're going to talk about, we're going to talk about this tax credit, this $7,500 tax credit. I, I see, I still see to this day, there's a lot of confusion with it about people. You know, do I get it back? Is it like a refund that I'm owed or anything like that? So we're going to jump into it. We're going to talk about all the different things that you need to be aware about, about the tax credit, like today in January of 2023 and the specifically which vehicles, which vehicles actually qualify and what you need to make or income levels and all stuff to qualify for the whole thing. I'm going to use round numbers. And of course, I'm just a guy on YouTube. So don't really listen. Like take a, take everything I say with a grain of salt. Like I've bought a couple of Teslas and I've got them back through the tax credits. But at the end of the day, you should consult your accountant or a friend that's an accountant or something to get the most accurate answers. So we're going to get into that. But before we get into that, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best Yoni Tesla at the best possible price or just getting really good financing on your Tesla. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. We stream once a day for an hour at this point. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description, but more on that later. All right. So let's let's jump into this so this is a great article from edmunds.com it talks about the electric vehicle tax credit as it sits right now and it goes pretty into detail because technically the tax credit is a full 7500 but it's broken into two parts 3750 and 3750 the first 3750 is only if the vehicle critical battery mineral components are sourced from america or free trade agreement so basically not china and the other half is if the battery components of the EV is manufactured in the US, the other 3750. But all that doesn't matter right now until March because the Tesla Model 3, we'll just get into it, Tesla only, the Tesla Model 3 and Tesla Model Y, if the price with options, color build, and all that stuff is under 55k so that means like if you're going to order a model y long range you can literally only order like one color paint and maybe uh maybe like the white interior because the price of the options before the destination fee and tax and all that stuff has to be under 55k model 3 you're pretty much safe with the long range and the standard range but the performance it gets pretty close as well for that so that's really it you have to per basically purchase the model 3 or the model uh, y and it has to be purchased before before march of per 2023 and when i say purchase it actually has to be delivered into your hand because starting in march 2023 the irs and the treasury are supposed to release more guidelines around this critical battery minerals and the battery component manufacturing and the worst case scenario is that the tesla model 3 and the model y could qualify for zero tax credit but more than likely it's going to qualify for 3750 but we're just going to assume that you are in the market you have an order or a vin lockdown and you're going to take delivery of your model y or model 3 under fifty five thousand dollars unless it's a seven seater seven seater can go all the way up to 80k options before march so like now in the january or you're going to take delivery in february now this is where it goes into like the actual the, the refund aspect of this. I see a lot of confusion here. It's, but basically to kind of sum it up, if you are a W-2 employee and you make get paychecks and you're a W-2, a piece of your paycheck every single month is being paid to federal taxes. You can actually see it on your pay stub. There's a line item that says federal taxes and it's whatever, like $500, $1,000, whatever it is a month. And the threshold to where the threshold, the threshold to where people actually pay about 7,500 in taxes is about $75,000, if not a little lower for a single earner in America. So I just put in $75,000 here, Los Angeles, single. And you can see right here, there's a line item that says 9268 in federal taxes. So because you're paying federal taxes, each paycheck, each month, and all that stuff, you get that right back at when you file for your taxes in 2024. Now, I did see a comment. Someone said you just change the adjustments through it so you get more each paycheck. Yes, you can do that. The form that, what that 
that's called is actually called a W-9 form and you can fill it out so that you get a little bit more of your paycheck. It's like your deductions or the limitations and all that stuff. You can do that. That's perfectly fine. But, you know, you have to do some, you know, some math and calculations. It might just be easier just to leave your paychecks alone and just get that all back in 2024 when you file. And you'll see a nice, you'll see a nice refund on that. And if you're wondering, like, is there a financing partner or financing company that allows you to defer or push that $7,500 tax rate all the way to the end of the loan so that you don't have to pay a monthly payment on it and your monthly payments will be lower on a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y? Well, guess what there is? And this video is actually sponsored by Tenant. Tenant is a financing company that understands EVs a little bit differently and you can actually finance through Tenant or even refinance through Tenant and lower your monthly payment on your Tesla Model 3 or Model Y. They allow you to defer a portion of your loan all the way to the end, maybe even that $7,500 tax credit so that you can push all the way, push it all the way to the end, get a lower monthly payment. And then when you get that tax rate in 2024, pay off the tenant loan and then be on your way. And there's even a strategy to use tenant to, you know, maybe do a refinance later on, but you know, definitely, uh, you know, there's a strategy there. If you're looking for that absolute lowest monthly payment, check out the link below in the uh, description for tenant. And thank you to tenant for sponsoring this video and a couple other videos this month, but definitely. So hopefully that clarifies it for most, you know, there's, it's not about like getting a refund at the end or not getting a refund at the end, or it's not about you know, it's not about, you know, do you, uh, do you pay you know, taxes or, well, no, everybody pay, essentially everybody pays taxes if, if you are a W-2 employee, but there certainly are, there certainly are like self-employed people or sole proprietorship people or people with their own business that, you know, maybe don't pay that much taxes, especially if you're starting out, but most, you know, mostly everybody pays taxes. I would say, you know, as a safe point, if you can afford and if you can get approved on a Tesla, because usually the rule of thumb is you have to have, uh, you actually have to make the same amount of income as what the car is worth. So if it's a 60 thousand dollar model Y, then you have to make sixty thousand dollars in income. Like it's not that's definitely probably not recommended to do that because it's pretty tight. I mean a thousand dollar monthly payment on sixty thousand dollars income unless like you're someone that you know drives or Uber or uses the car like on a daily work sort of basis then you know I can certainly see that. But like say let's see right here you put sixty thousand dollars and then you're only paying six thousand dollars in taxes. And if you're wondering what website this is, this is smart asset that allows you to put in your income level location and you'll see how much your income taxes are actually broken down and it actually f already factors in your your standard deduction and all that stuff but it doesn't you can click the advance if you want to add like 401k and all these other different stuff and the pro tip with this the pro tip with the electric vehicle tax credit is that of the within the year that you actually buy the vehicle you can either use that year's income or the year before and what i mean by the income it's actually your adjusted modified adjusted growth income that's actually calculated. So if you do 401k with your company and you max contribute all the way to $20,000, $500 or something like that, that actually reduces your income. So there are income limits to this. You have to make $150,000 or lower as a single person, W-2. But if you make 170 and you use $20,000 of 401k contributions, you can get under that threshold. It's probably really tight, but you can do it. And then as a married couple, a married uh, is $300,000 for income together. But the trick is you can use this year, the year that you buy, and the year before for your modified adjusted gross income. Hopefully, hopefully that clears it up for everyone here. Uh, I'm, I'm getting a lot of comments and I see it back and forth and people are like, you know, you, you don't get a refund if you're not only owed a certain amount or like, you know, if you're getting a refund for $3,000 at, you know, tax time in April of 2024, you don't get anything more of that. I, I see a lot of different, there's a lot of confusion on it. That's for sure. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if you are buying and you, you know, you're right on this 70K thousand in threshold and you're just concerned if you're going to actually get the full amount or not, just talk to a accountant if you can uh, and to try and get some more clarification on that. But uh, hopefully that clears it up. 
And we'll jump into some of the comments, into the questions. Uh, but today's video is actually also sponsored by my Patreon link. Down in the description, you can support the channel by checking out my Patreon link. And some of the benefits include actually scheduling a call with me where you can ask me any questions one-on-one -on -one about buying a Tesla, selling a Tesla, or even financing a Tesla. Right now, after you join the Patreon, you get a link to my buying guide, which has links to all the resources that I use to get the best possible deal at the best possible price. And right now, there's a credit union on the list that has rates as low as 3% if you are interested. But let's let's jump into some of the comments. Uh, if you see me writing right here, I'm actually writing down like timestamps and all that stuff. But uh, let's see, Ryan, I just ordered a Tesla Model Y long range. I hope I get it before March. I live in Long Beach. It says January to March. So when you log in right now to your app, does it say estimated delivery day March? Because the, the latest that I heard recently was like February 15th. But if yours says March... Ooh, that uh, that is going to be uh, pretty interesting. Happy, but that would be that would be a bummer if it qualifies for half the credit for those that are waiting. Yeah, it, I could easily see. That's the one caveat with all this. Like the IRS has said that they're going to come out and release guidance like March 2023. But, you know, worst case scenario, they could do whatever they want, right? They could just be like, you know what, February 15th, here's our new guidance. And it would screw everybody that's been waiting to buy a Tesla, that have, e you know, estimated delivery d dates, all that stuff pushed out. You know, that would really, you know, throw, you know, a hammer into it. But uh, I think also the flip side, I could easily see Tesla being like, oh, you lost 3750 Well, here's 3750 discounts just so you take delivery because it seems like they're, they're pulling out all this 